What is up, boys? It's me again, and welcome back to Bee Swarm Simulator. How are y'all's doing? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome back to the test server. What the- why- why are there just bees, like, just kind of chilling here? Okay, well, anyways, <laughs> I, I don't know anything about that. But hey, guys, welcome back to the test realm. Today, things got added once again, and I, I just want to say, hey, guys- Hey, 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 guys, I was right. I'm a, I'm a genius, guys. Did you know that? Literally, like, a couple minutes ago, I got a notification from Discord, and after, like, about maybe a weekish of Bee Swarm leaks, like, Discord thing being kind of inactive, because Ana didn't put anything in the test server, but I got a Discord notification, and it was, like, a, a fat, like, wave of leaks just smacked onto my forehead. And, boys, inside of the test realm, we have some late-game Beastmas news, boys. I, I am so ready to check it out because I think I might be able to cover it, perhaps. I actually don't have a present, so that kind of sucks, man. <laughs> well, well there, there goes the video. No, it's fine. I can just show pictures of it. Hey, sup, guys. I think you already know what time it is. The part where I ask you to smash a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You gotta be part of the small percentage of people who are actually subscribed. We are still growing very fast, so let's just keep pushing to 4K. It's gonna happen one of these days. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, you know, just make sure to check. That all being said, enjoy the video. But, uh, basically, you know the test room, or in the just the main game itself, right? There's, like, there, there's not really any super late game stuff added yet. It was just kind of business part one, right? And in the, the main game, it's still business part one. But inside of the test server, on it has officially added the late game business quest to the game. Like, inside of the test room, if you go talk to the dudes, the, the, the two particular dudes, you can claim a quest. I'll get to why I'm, uh, pretty predicting genius in a second guys but uh basically uh this got changed over here so instead of helping 12 it's now helped 14 characters uh 14 14 funny number 14 why does that number always follow me dude but now you gotta help 14 people prepare for beastmas so I, I thought there was gonna be actually two more presents added in the next update but i guess not that that's just not gonna happen unless actually unless maybe there's another hmm moment hmm I, I don't know, maybe there's some secret ones, kind of stuffed somewhere around the map, who knows? But uh, yeah, what is important though, is that two characters inside of Beastworm have officially been given Beastmas related stuff. So of course ornaments, but also the Beastmas 2020 like quest stuff as well. I'm pretty sure in the previous episode of the test realm, I tried to do Spirit Bearer's Beastmas quest, but I don't think on it added it, I think? I, I don't know though. I'm pretty sure he didn't, unless he just did, but honestly I have no idea. But uh, yeah, that, that kind of sucked, you know, I thought it was the Beastmas quest, but no, it was just like the, the ornament, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, basically what on it actually did add in this update though is the actual business quest for these two characters so you know in the past i was saying like oh i wonder who the characters are gonna be but in an episode i mentioned hey what if gummy bear had a business quest line that would be pretty cool right yeah you know like the krampus dude uh, making business all, all sticky and gooey with his with his wacky goo i gotta stop saying that man <laughs> but uh, yeah i i said that like not too long ago and and you want to know what happened guys Gummy Bear is now part of the Beastmas update, boys. He he has literally a Beastmas quest and an ornament coming so sometime. I don't know if the ornament's in the game, but he does have a Beastmas quest that we're gonna go check out, hopefully today, unless I can't get into the gummy zone. I don't remember how much, like, stuff you need to get in there. Uh, the, the goo badge. Maybe I need... I probably will be able to get in there, actually. I think that's good enough, right? Ace badge. Yeah, that should be good enough. But as well as that, I also did mention, hey, what if Honeybee got a Beastmas quest line? I kind of debunked it, though, a little bit in like the newer episodes of Beastmas because I was like, oh, Honeybee doesn't even talk. How would he have a Beastmas quest? It's kind of stupid of me to even question that. But uh, no, actually, Honeybee got a Beastmas quest. So we're not actually getting like any new uh, actual NPCs in the game. But, you know, it's still kind of weird that this guy is getting a, a quest either way. Onnit was gonna delete this guy like two updates ago, and he's still here. Onnit was persuaded by the honeybee. Oh, God. Well, uh, hola, how are you doing? Bzz, bzz, bzz. That is not what I wanted. You got something actually important to say? Bzz, 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 bzz. Honeybee stares deeply into your eyes. He's trying to tell you something. If you complete its quest, it'll boost your... Heh. That is just not what I wanted. Hello? You can see the rapid desire for honey tokens in its- Heh! What do you mean? I literally saw a beast was quest! What do you mean, dude? Well, that sucks, bro. What? 
Okay, well, anyways, go. Well, that's the end of the episode, guys. Uh, it's gone. Whoops. No, no, no. What the? What? Where's my freaking phone? Where, what that? Bro, what? Hey, what happened? I, I literally saw a picture of the what the quest looks like. I'm not being stupid this time, guys. I swear. Where is it? Where is it? Show me. Show me it right now. I'm gonna read it on the screen. Just, I, I don't know why it didn't show me the quest, but I'm just gonna show it to you guys anyways. Right over here. Honeybee's honey wreath. You gotta collect 99,999 honey tokens. Holy Jesus, dude. How many, how many do I normally collect? I, I don't know which one I'm up to for Honeybee's quest in the main game. I think it might be up to like 10,000-ish, so it's like 10 Honeybee quests, so not that bad, I guess. Collect 9,999 tokens from coin scatter. Okay, buddy. Listen here, dude. I, I don't really use the gummy mask anymore because I mainly AFK with the demon mask and the pepper patch. What the heck, bro? Collect 999 honey gift tokens. What? Bruh. Collect 999 street tokens. Collect 99 tokens from the honey. What do you mean? How many is that? That's like, it gives like maybe, what is that? Like, oh, actually, that's not that bad. It's like, it gives you seven a time, I think. So that that's not that bad, actually. Use the honey dispenser nine times. That's like nine hours of waiting. Okay, buddy. Feed 9,999 treats to your bees and use nine enzymes. Okay, well, that's not that bad. I oh, oh, Hey there, what are, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what the heck was that? But I feel like the honey tokens and the coin scatters are probably going to be the worst. Maybe the honey gift as well, but honestly, you just get like a lot of honey bees and diamond bees, really. So, it's not that bad. But dang, man. Gosh dang. I still don't know why I can't actually accept the quest, dude. Is it because I don't have a specific item? I know for the gummy bear, apparently you need the gummy mask in order to activate the quest, so I actually won't be able to take a look at it. But it didn't say anything in the Beastworm Leaks page, so I don't know what I really need. Do I need the honey mask, maybe? I mean, that would make sense, right? Like, this stupid thing over here, right? It, it, it just makes sense. I'm too poor. Okay, well, <laughs> I tried, dude. Uh, what do I do now, hey? Okay, well, uh, actually, before I do anything, you see this thing right here? This satellite dish isn't working, but it still emits bad vibes, so this this is the unvibed thingy. I don't know what it's gonna do, really. Oh, uh, but this is for Gummy Bear, so you don't actually summon its decoration thing, like, inside its Frick Dungeon. You just kind of do it, like, over here next to the Star Hall. But, uh, it got this. I don't know what it's gonna do. Maybe it's gonna summon, like, a, a Gumdrop Rain or something. You know, like, in the- a while ago, like, two years ago, how Gummy Bear had, like, his own event, where there was, like, Gumdrop Cannons and all that, like, spewing his sticky- I'm, uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna stop. stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop with that joke. I don't think it's even that funny, to be honest. It's just kind of strange and weird. But uh, when, when Gummy Bear did his little gumdrop thingy all over the fields, it might be it's gonna be like that, but like maybe for like five minutes or something. So if you activate it every like maybe 12 hours, then it, it does the thing for like five minutes on like all the fields and it's like really good. That would be pretty good for like uh, field boosting. So yeah, the vibe vibe thingy over there. I don't know what it's gonna really do. Once again, maybe, maybe it's gonna be some sort of wacky thing with the gumdrop cannons and all that. Who knows, honestly? But uh, yeah, should we try to go in the gummy lair? I I don't know how much I need to get into his frick dungeon, so please. Oh, yo, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> how's it going, bro? <laughs> you forgot about me, didn't you, buddy? Here, I'm just gonna take some of your gold to blooms over here. Thank you. I'm just, you know, casual house robbery. Hey, how you doing, buddy? It's me. Who wants switch of that honey, you say? Oh. oh, wait, he's gonna kill me, actually. Wait, give me the quest first. Oh, I can't talk to him. It's because I need the gummy mask. So it's just debating me with this, like, massive exclamation point. That's cool. Wait, are you about to kill me? No, they're not seeing clearly. You're always right. <laughs> Goodbye, Beaky. Eh, 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 eh. Screw you, dude. I just got here and now you stabbed me. Come on, bro. Well, yeah, I need the gummy mess for that. And I'm not anywhere near close to getting that in the test realm. I don't know why people spend like hours in here grinding. It's so pointless. Why not just grind in the main game and get fat stacked? That's what I do. You guys are kind of stupid in it. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna read off Gummy Bear's quest off. I got this from Beast from Leaks Discord page. Join, join their Discord because that's when you get the most up-to-date information twitter is good but the discord is like the, the most up to date like gets updated like instantly instead of like twitter being like updated maybe every like hour or two but uh, yeah gummy bears quest it has collect 75 is that billion hundred thousand million. that's billions okay okay gummy bear take it easy yeah collect 75 billion goo all right dude collect 7.5 billion goo from the red flowers okay collect 7.5 billion
billion goo from blue flower. Okay, I'm not even a blue hive. What the heck, bro? Collect 7.5 billion goo from the clover field. Collect 7.5 billion goo from the coconut field. Use 750 gumdrops. Ouch. Collect 75 gumdrops. Okay, listen here, buddy. Literally the first episode of Beastmas, I spent like 10 minutes trying to find one gumdrop. You're asking me to find 75? Really, dude? Come on, bro. Uh, collect 750 tokens from Gummy Bee. You mean the, the singular tiny token? What? You mean, yeah, the tiny things, right? The, the regular ones that it spawns. You want me to collect 750 of those? Oh, that's funny. That's so hilarious. Defeat 75 ladybugs. Okay, more stabbing. 75 rhino beetles. 75 ants. That's strangely easy. Okay, well, collect 75 tokens from spiders. 75 tokens from mondo chick. 75 tokens from coconut crab. Use the red cannon seven times is that what it says this image is very very like bad quality by the way sorry guys use the yellow cannon seven times and use the blue cannon seven times that is so strange dude what the heck so here's a couple images that you know are just on the thing so might as well show it right but uh when you give honeybee a present they give you three gingerbread bears five uh, micro converters one honeybee gel uh, early and one bag of honey ornament oh yeah also conversion boost of either an hour or a day okay that's cool uh let's see the ornament gives 10 percent convert rate 10 percent capacity five percent mark duration that's pretty good actually 10 percent honey from tokens as well hmm. yo the mark from tokens is really good if you're a white hive you're gonna really start popping off from that let me just tell you let's see and then we also have a festive mark change which we checked out in the previous episode stuff changed from one times bomb pollen to 1.4 times and 2.5 times red bomb pollen to 1.4 times red bomb pollen. And another change, Popstar has changed from 4.5 times blue pollen to now only being 4 times blue pollen. So, blue players being nerfed. Uh, 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 sucks for you guys. Uh, 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 us hybrid players that have it, have it so good now compared to you guys. We're going to be just making so much money now compared to you fools. That that 1.5 difference is really going to do a mark on y'alls. Uh, 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 uh. Just kidding. It still sucks being hybrid hey guys i should switch soon i'd probably switch though after i complete all the beastmas stuff though because the beastmas quests basically rely on you to like actually have a grasp on like all the colors so i probably shouldn't switch because then i'll really suck at the quest and it'll even take me even more time to do it but uh yeah that's that's kind of interesting another thing though i was actually about to end off the episode but i kind of forgot about bubble bee man i'm pretty sure bubble bee man has a thing now can i can i see something up there do i see ting wait a minute i think i know where this is actually uh Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Uh, I'm confused now, actually. It, it totally looks like it would be up here on the honey thing over uh, the, the, the honey hat. Whatever, whatever this fat thing is over here. It should be over here, right? I don't know, dude. I'm just so confused. There, I see a picture on the screen and it's like this guy literally on top of the honey hat over there. That's literally like the exact place it, it's at like that right in the middle, but it's not here for me. So like what? Surely it's not like extremely tiny, right? No, I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'll put a picture on the screen though, but uh, it's either like over here on like the other side where the mountaintop field is. It, it's supposed to be over there. Maybe it's inside of the hat. I don't know if you can clip through that, but it's literally right there and it's like a, a list for Bubble Bee Man. So Bubble Bee Man is kind of like Santa Claus, but uh, it, it's just like a list that says who's been naughty or nice, each and every person, one or the other. That's the purpose of the only on this color. Another not so much indeed. Okay, I actually can't read. This thing is like in 140p. What do you expect me to do? I can't read hieroglyphics. Get better computer, guys. Stop sucking. <laughs> Get a gamer computer, guys. Come on, bro. But, uh, yeah, it's like a scroll and it says stuff. I'll probably read it in the actual, like, Beastmas video, like, when part two comes out. That's when I'll probably read the full thing. So, you know, once again, hey, guys, notifications, you should turn that on for when Beastmas comes out. It's coming out soon, guys. Hopefully. But, uh, yeah, basically, when you do when you do it, when you E, you can punish those on Bubbly Man's naughty list. I'm pretty sure when you use that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna play the sound effect, which is the, the Santa Claus going, like, naughty, naughty, naughty. 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 That, like, very 
very creepy sound clip that was literally in on its decals or like inventory from like before business part one even came out so yeah it's been there for a while but i think that's what it's going to be used for i'm pretty sure you know naughty list the naughty 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 it just makes sense dude but uh yeah that's that's very interesting i don't know what it's gonna do punish those on his naughty list what maybe it'll like decrease the respawn time of monsters or something like if you e it'll like maybe fully regenerate the entire mountain so like they come back but that wouldn't really make sense because then shouldn't bringing someone back to life be like a good thing and like something you'd get if you're nice doesn't make sense dude i don't know what it's gonna be maybe it just gives you a billion honey each time you use it who knows but uh, yeah i i don't know strange things coming to beast room guys that that's it from the test room though i'm pretty sure if anything else comes out i probably won't add it since this is kind of the main stuff that i want to talk about like spirit bear and you know bubbly man honey being gummy bear having stuff very very interesting but guys i'm a predicting genius L let's just let's just put it that way i literally predicted on it i'm a predicting god i'm like above jesus's level i'm like god squared in a way I gotta stop saying those things, dude. Anyways, boys, that's it from me. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, notifications, do it, or the gummy bear will... I'm gonna stop myself. Not gummy bear. Before honeybee stares at you. That's all I got. I'm not gonna say stupid sticky goo again. Screw that, man. <laughs> yep, he's gonna stare at you. But I had... Anyways, boys, thanks for watching. That's it from me. Bye bye gamers.